I was very conscious of working with landscape with those first large, vast paintings. Sky, earth, horizon. When the color finally began to take over, I said, I don't need it. I mean, it's in my way. To hell with the landscape. It's a mesmerizing experience. You know, look at the ocean, it's constantly moving. It's always the same, but it's constantly changing. Well, that's what I want my painting to do. I want to know a little bit more about George Chaplin and mm -hmm. how you discovered him. And Is he still alive? Yes, 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 he is, as is Frank. Um, he taught at Trinity College. He was the head of the fine arts department. And a friend of mine is a painter, and she studied with him. And she said he would make a wonderful subject for a movie. She had seen my other films, and she wanted me to make a movie. So she commissioned me to make a movie about him. And um, he is someone that currently is working as a painter, but he is teaching only one class now at Trinity. But he studied graduate and undergraduate with Joseph Albers at Yale. And um, he lived in Japan for a while, and he was over there during World War II, and then he also uh, went back, and his wife was Japanese. Um, and um, he's remarried now, she passed away. And um, he was just someone that took a whole different look at painting than I personally do. I'm more of a figurative person to begin with. I mean, going all the way into a little bit more abstract uh, style, not as much as Frank. But um, he was just someone that I thought was really an interesting guy, but, I was commissioned to make the movie. So it wasn't, you know, the other two I made under my own steam, um, and this was a commission. But it was interesting. It was nice to do something completely different than the other guys. So did you find in the course of, of uh, creating that documentary that you moved more into understanding about abstraction and embracing it more? Um, I learned more. I absolutely learned more. I'm still not, abstract doesn't work for me. Um, <laughs> I just, um, I mean, I like Lucian Freud, I like Bacon, you know, I like a little, you know, more modern stuff than just straight traditional, but I can't go to straight abstraction. It doesn't move me. I don't, I don't, I look at a Rothko and it's like, I don't feel anything. And, and for me, and I know people disagree, but it's just, it's, a, it's I know academically it's different, but it doesn't move me, so I, I don't know what to say. That's Elizabeth Zadoff, who has just moved here as an art consultant from L.A., and she just sold a big Nick Carone. So, <laughs> an abstractionist. That's true. Right.